Hello everybody, today I have this DD15 engine. I'm going to be replacing the crankcase filter. The process to replace this handcrank filter will be similar to all DD15 engines. Uh, the only difference is then the newer DD15 engine, engines from 2011 and up. They have a sensor and this pie is plastic. So the first step I'm going to do is to remove these bolts. There is two bolts, T25, there is one over here and there is one on the back. I'm gonna remove those two bolts and then I'm gonna remove the pipe from the crankcase filter. The pipe is completely removed. Okay, to remove the crankcase filter, we have to remove the four bolts that are holding the crankcase filter base. Once all the bolts are completely removed, I'm gonna use a pray bar to pray somewhere to break the seal. Then it's still holding the crankcase there. Okay, the filter is completely loose but still I cannot remove it from here because these cables are on the way so I have to remove them and uh, get them out of the way so I can remove the crankcase filter the crankcase filter is completely removed now now what I'm gonna do is to remove the gasket here is the gasket I'm gonna remove it and clean the surface to install the new one here is the new crankcase filter here is the part number. I always compare the crankcase filter. Here is the old one and here is the new one. I always compare them to see if there is any difference. The only difference that you're gonna notice is that this one has this pipe on it. But this pipe is for the newer DD15 engine for 2011 and up. Uh, because I have a 2010 DD15 engine, I don't need to use this pipe. So I have to remove these two bolts right here and remove it and remove the whole pipe. Okay, here is the crankcase, it is ready to be installed. So I'm gonna get the crankcase filter all the way over there. And once the crankcase filter is there, I'm gonna place the gasket, otherwise I can damage the gasket. Okay, the crankcase filter is about to get on position. So all I have to do now is to get the gasket and insert some bolts to hold the gasket with the uh, crankcase filter and then I'm gonna align the bolts to the engine block and then I'm gonna tie them. Okay, the crankcase is on place, tight and secure. Now I'm just going to put the cables back on place. Okay, now I'm just going to place the pipe back on place, just align it with the orifice. Now I'm going to install this clamp and I'm gonna put the new bolts these are the ones that keep the pipe on place. Okay, the bolts are tight. Uh, now just double check then everything is on place. And pretty much this is all about the crankcase filter replacement. The replacement of the crankcase filter can help to fix problems like oil consumption, high crankcase pressure, and oil leak. So if you have any questions about this video, just comment below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Please like the video, share, subscribe and thank you for watching.